Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes of Thunder Chief building action without the drama. It's a twirl it. <laughs> okay, I've been trucking right along on this canopy. I pretty much had all the all the inside frame done last night. This morning. It was a late one last night, man. I had to get around for a little bit. But I remember I had all these pieces cut and sanded. Okay, the only one I had to cut this morning was this one up front. Just put a piece of wood in the front. Left it back off a little bit. Now this back part here, I wanted a pretty good size gap in that board. So I just cut a couple strips of this glass here. It's probably, oh, 64th. It's not much, maybe 32nd. Uh, what was it? Yeah. But anyway, I wanted a little bit of gap back there, you know, for this to go up, and I don't want nothing hitting it, and a little bit of primer build up, you know, you don't want nothing too dang tight, or it just won't work right, you know, I'd rather have a little gap back there, that's not going to hurt a thing. And on the bottom, I just uh, cut me some little strips of cardboard. And all this, this here's got, you know, spaced out a little bit. This piece goes right here. I got it to where it's spaced out a little bit. But when you're cutting all these pieces and gluing them, you know, you, you got to do one at a time. You know, and just whittle that one piece until it fits right. You know, if you try and get too far ahead, you know, just, uh, you know, glue two, three, glue two or three pieces in there and try to sand them to shape. Uh, you'll have a hard time with it. And this works awesome for hatches, people. This is how I made all my hatches. You know, when you got to cut your own hatches and, you know, a, jet, a lot of fuselages were, used to be like that. You know, you had to cut your own hatch and make your own, cut out the canopy, make your own hatch. And uh, this is how I used to do it. You just want to, everything's got to be shimmed or it comes out too tight, you know. So that's your lesson for the day. <laughs> one piece at a time. But you get that one piece sanded until it's fit, you know. Then you could glue her in there. But uh, this piece here has been sanded. See, that's how the canopy will rise right there. I mean, but it's it's been it's got a piece behind it. This side here is pretty much done. Then I glued a block back here because I want to. You got to make it rugged enough to where you can mold it. You know, you don't want to build it just super flimsy to where something will break off real easy or crack. You know, stuff like that. But uh, I went in and put my center hole in here and put my screw in it. Now, I'll fill that hole with clay when I mold it, but I'll leave a dimple, okay, on both pieces. That, that's why I know I can just drill my hole in them pieces after they're already laid up, and these holes will match up, you know, in, the, in, the, in this piece and in the actual canopy piece. So now I'm ready to glue this piece on, and uh, this has got a little bit of gap, but it's touching a little bit in the front, and that's raised a little bit. So I'll just be able to sand on that glass just to frickle after I pull it out and it'll be perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh, forgot to put my blob right here. got this this piece of fiberglass is spaced out too now everything that piece is spaced out this piece is spaced out you know just the thicknesses of a couple pieces of cardboard you know this is what I'm cutting into strips and putting two of them down that's real thin stuff but just allows for a little bit of build up primer you know just so things fit good 
You know, if this got a little bit of a gap all the way around, it's all right because that way this canopy will pull down tight. You know, if it's not, if we didn't put them shims there, there's a chance this canopy wouldn't pull down tight. It'd be sticking up a little bit. You know, so I'd rather just be it. And if there is a gap down there, it'll be super, super small. And that's just the best place to have it. You know what I mean? I'll put some thin in there too. This last piece here, this rounded piece, I'm thinking about just going and taking it apart and then filling this cavity with Bondo. Uh, you know, that'll be nice and easy, sand it how I want it. And uh, it should be pretty simple. But all this is real simple, people. These hatches, it's just simple. You see now I made my first bulkhead, then you cut two out and you glue them together and sand them as one. And uh, I like to run, you know, my the ones that go across, I like to run them uh, down a little bit. That's why I cut it out on paper and then took it down past this point here. You know, that way it just don't stop. If I would have just put this piece of board up there and traced around it and cut it out, that, that board would stop right there. Well, I like to run it, especially on my hatches and stuff, run it past down into here. Now it'll keep you from getting cracks and stuff right here in your fiber. Just trying to, you know, run these two past and then them two into it. Then you build on top and, and uh, makes really nice hatches. And, uh, see, I can... Now that these two are, are clamped together, I can drill them and pin them. You know, like, or these two right here, I can put me a couple pins there, you know, for my hats while they're just, everything's tacked together just perfect like that. Oh, here it is. I knew I had to get another one of these blocks. Glued up. I'm just going to glue this right in the back so I don't be first. Parts almost done, people. Remember, I got all my glasses finished. I won't have to glass it, and just uh, quick and easy, bam! This thing will be ready to mold, man. I'll have a little bit of filler work to do on it. Not much. A little bit here and there, and seal my bondo off with a. Uh, Thin CA. Bam. Okay, now that's all locked in place. Now, I got two screws in this back one. I'm going to have to go ahead and take that top one out, but now that all this is, uh, you know, in place, this shouldn't be real wobbly anyway. And I can still leave that bottom one in because I can come in here and take that one out easy enough, but it'd be hard to get this top one out because the screwdriver would be angled. So I'm going to take that top one out before I glue this piece on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take me some epoxy. I'm just going to tack glue it at first. So I'm going to take me little dabs of epoxy and just put little dabs everywhere. And then I can come down, put it in place, tape it. I'm just afraid if I tried to glue that whole thing, it would just be... I would, I would epoxy be everywhere. I'd rather just take it out and glue it up good with a pastry bag. You know what I mean? But all that's fitting really good, man. I used my vibrating saw so it didn't leave much of a gap. And uh, shoot, look at that. That's going to be cool. That is going to be cool, man. Can't wait to get this Thunder Chief done. What do you think there, Sharp Pencil? Think that's going to work?